So each of them is going to start and tell you a little bit about how they got to be where they are. And Sara, I was wondering, did you know you wanted to be a rabbi from an early age? First of all, it's such an honor to be here with everybody and sitting on such a distinguished panel. So thanks so much for thinking about me, and it's wonderful to be here. You know, I never had that aha moment when uh, I woke up one day and said, I want to be a rabbi, simply because it wasn't an option for those in the Orthodox community. Um, I guess my, my story really begins when my family immigrated from apartheid South Africa to South Florida in 89. And my parents, without really explicitly talking about it, sent us a message of tolerance and equality, that all people should be able to do and be whatever they want. It wasn't until much later that the thought of spiritual work entered my mind. Um, when I was about to enter Barnard College, my parents insisted that I take a uh, vocational test to see what my skill set my skill set was best suited for. The results of the test showed I was best suited for clergy. <laughs> and at the time we all laughed because what is a good Orthodox Jewish girl going to do with that information? And so I pursued other things in college. Can everybody hear me? We just need you to take it off your hand. Okay. And so I pursued other things in college. And after working for a, a little bit, I um, began to, to learn full-time at, at a place called Trisha, which was a place open for Orthodox women and women in general to enhance their learning skills. And when I graduated from there, I started looking around, and again, I realized that I was gravitating towards being part of synagogue life, communal life, being part of, of building community. And so I met with Rabbi Weiss, who I had known from around, and uh, um, together we, we, he, he invited me to begin working as a congregational intern at the Hebrew Institute of Riverdale. That was about nine years ago. And uh, the intern word is a, a strange phrase because usually when you're interning for something, you're preparing to, uh, to ascend to a higher level. Well, in the Orthodox community, there was no role for a, a, a woman as a full member of the clergy, so the cement ceiling was, was pretty low. Um. All right, everybody see me now? <laughs> uh, so after a year of working, I was working 10 hours a week, very part-time in the synagogue. Rabbi Weiss and I, we were walking. It was the high holidays. We were walking to, towards a tashlich service, a service that takes place on the high ho holidays to get rid of your sins. And I remember both of us at that moment started dreaming about the possibility of what it would take to be accepted as a full member of the clergy. And one thing we were certain of was that I needed a certain number of years of learning to be accepted as a, an authority in the Orthodox community. So I went back to the books, and under the leadership of Rabbi Weiss, I took all of the relevant tests, studied all of the relevant material to become a, a rabbi. And after my eight years of study, Rabbi Weiss and I found ourselves on a walk once again. And this time I turned to him and said, I'm finished, I've taken all the tests, now what? And we could have, at that moment, chosen to continue quietly, allowing me to pursue my career as a spiritual leader in the confines of my little Orthodox community in the Hebrew Institute of Riverdale. But we decided that we wanted to let other women know that this was a possibility, that this career path was an option. And so we had a public, what we called a conferral ceremony. We have to be careful with language. And um, it was a a very moving moment where, where many people came together to, to honor my um, ascendancy to become a full member of the clergy. And what happened there is that people started coming up to me and saying, how can I do what you do? And so about a month later, we announced the opening of Yeshivat Maharat, an institution that would ordain Orthodox women to do what I do. And today we're in our third year of this institution where we have um, eight women who are currently studying over four years to, to, become, to become rabbis. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the, the controversy um, around language and title, but that's how I got to where I am today.